Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Have a little bit of follow through overnight from yesterday's trade with beans down, uh, corn and wheat spot unchanged. Oil is actually gaining on meal. Outside markets, dollars a little bit higher, crude and, and gold's a little bit lower. Outside markets still trying to focus on some of the uncertainty in the Korea Peninsula and, and any issues that might be going on in, in Europe that might be affecting the dollar. As far as uh, USDA numbers, they estimated the corn harvest at 11% done versus 17 average. Market was looking for maybe a little bit higher numbers. Uh, when we look at the state by states, Illinois and Indiana ratings look uh, a little low compared to what the USDA uh, said as far as uh, September yields are concerned. We'll see if those numbers come down. Still hearing a lot of 180 bushel corn though in Illinois. Minnesota yields and maybe the southern yields maybe look too low versus September, which could offset it and could suggest their 170 yield is pretty close to what's going to be the final numbers. Farmer selling has slowed down as farmers are trying to let the uh, corn uh, sit in the field, dry down, and use it as basically storage. Um, for the beans, the USDA uh, said that the crop actually improved a little bit. They're 60% good to excellent versus 73 last year, and about 10% of the crop is harvested versus 12 average. And the crop is drying down pretty quickly, and so I think you'll see the farmers focus on harvesting the beans as, as quickly as they're possible. And there's not a lot of break in the weather forecast, so the harvest should move along pretty quickly. Here again, uh, it looks like to me the delta yields might be a little bit too low. Minnesota's yield might be a little bit too low. And we'll see how Illinois and Indiana come out with their ratings below a year ago, but yields pretty close to what they had a year ago. So one thing we have to remember about beans is some people want to add 800,000 acres to this year's crop numbers because of the FSA enrollment. We also noted that uh, one group came out and said that Brazil announced 2018, 60% of their growing areas should see normal crop weather. Uh, that includes the central and southern areas. The 33% in the north and especially in the northeast may see drier and hotter than normal conditions. This is contrary to what you would think in a La Nina year where usually southern Brazil is drier than normal. They also estimated combined Brazil and Argentina 2018 soybean production at around 164 million tons versus this year's record 172. And they estimated Brazil and Argentina corn production at 130 million tons versus 138. Some of the things we don't usually talk about this year is the low water. The lack of rain in the Midwest is beginning to cause some problems on the Illinois River system. And we saw barge freight rally dramatically over the weekend. And that uh, increases um, the um, freight and decreases the price to the farmer. So we're um, 960 is a level of support in November beans, 978 resistance. 350 to 355 is your tight rating range in the corn, and probably 450, maybe 440 to 460 is your tight range in the wheat. So again, trying to figure out harvest yields, farmer selling pace, what's the government going to say on Friday as far as September 1 stocks and final U.S. wheat crop numbers, what's going on in Brazil weather, and uh, what's going on in the money flow, and then finally what happens October 12th when the USDA gives us crop revisions. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investment Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.